By doing the following steps, building a T-intersection with Advantage ICF can be easily accomplished on site. The Advantage installation manual lists tools, equipment and materials required for ICF installation. Nothing additional is required for T-intersections. In preparation, build a strong back L's out of dimensional lumber as required. Also pre-bend two 90 degree pieces of rebar per row of block. Working from the corners to the middle of the wall, build the through wall as you would normally. With your felt marker, mark the through wall where your perpendicular wall will intersect. With a handsaw, cut the EPS. Using tin snips, cut the web on the side that you just cut the foam, leaving the middle strut of the web. Slide the block into the opening. Using zip straps, fasten the first web to the remaining strut of the cut web. Do not over tighten. Place a small bead of low expansion foam in the corners as shown here. Place two pre-bent 90 degree rebars in each row. Using a knife, cut off the interlock roughly three inches back from the intersection. Repeat the previous steps for all sequential rows of ICF block. After three rows, take your pre-built strong back L's, place these vertically on the inside 90 degree angles of the T, fastening them to the advantage ties every row. If you have a vertical seam at the back of your through wall, ensure to gusset each row prior to attaching braces. Fasten a brace, the same as the rest of your braces, directly on the back side of the T-intersection. This will help support the block to resist the high concrete pressures at the intersection. Following these steps, will allow you to build a monolithic concrete wall at any T-intersection in your project without any additional cost. Be sure to follow all local building codes.